Hello, Gemini, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We do have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Let's see why you're getting this card, Gemini, and how it resonates with your reading for today. We're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Gemini currently view this relationship? Ooh, yes. We got the Five of Wands with the Empress and the Nine of Cups. And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. Okay. I see you. How does this person currently view this relationship i love your fucking overall energy jesus you're like my spirit animal right now how does this person currently view this relationship with gemini nice very very nice all right we have the seven of swords we also have the magician and then we have the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Devil, and then we also have the Ten of Swords, two times, with the Eight of Cups to the Five of Wands. Gemini, listen, honey, I just feel like you're sitting pretty right now, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress being out here, this is kind of like the true epitome of a lot of growth and expansion currently happening uh, within your own personal life. Dude, you find yourself in a very, very good place. Um, this could also speak of, you know, success, where you could very well be stumbling um, into some sort of success here. This could also represent receiving, you know, a brand new promotion, possibly even at the company that you currently work. Uh, work at but this could also represent somebody who owns their own business so just kind of keep that in mind too but I just kind of feel like you got a lot of people hating on you right now Gemini and I feel like you know that but one thing that I absolutely love about you is that you don't give a fuck like you don't really fucking care if Susan and Bob doesn't essentially like the fact that you're growing and you're evolving and you're expanding as an individual you just really don't give a shit okay and like I said this could just be one person, Gemini, that's kind of hating on you right now. Or hell, it could even be multiple people. And for some of you, this could even be an ex. So just kind of keep that in mind. You could have an ex that still kind of keeps tabs on you. Um, and they, they see that you're growing and you're evolving, you're expanding, um, whether it's in the company that you're in or the business that you're currently running and in charge of, whatever have you. There's just growth and expansion and success and wish fulfillment all around you, my friend. And like I said, I think that you can definitely sense that there's clearly a lot of people or just one person in particular that's currently hating on you. Like I said, you're like my spirit animal right now because I don't really feel like you give a fuck, okay? But I am kind of getting that. For a lot of you, I feel like this is like somebody that you're once upon a time romantically involved with. So just keep that in mind. For others, it could just be coworkers. It could just be family members or friends kind of hating on you from afar. But I, I do want to say that this person's at a distance from you. Like, I don't feel like you're in communication with this person by any means. Um... And it kind of looks like the two of you had a very, very bad ending. That's another thing that I'm getting. So that's kind of making me feel like this is somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with Gemini. But yeah, like this is somebody who doesn't want to see you succeed. They don't want to essentially see you win. I mean, this is somebody who is basically preying on your damn downfall. And the thing is, is that... I just don't see that happening. I just honestly, I don't see that happening. And, and if anything, I see you growing and evolving, you know, as the days go by, you know what I mean? You're definitely focusing on the things that you need to essentially focus on, which is something that this person is not doing. Whoever this person is, this is somebody who comes off to me as somebody who's more focused on you and what you have going on within your own personal life than themselves. Hence why... I'm pretty sure this person is exactly at the same place that you found them when you left them. You know, it kind of has that feel. Like, I don't feel like much has changed within this person's life, to be completely honest, since the two of you essentially parted ways. Like, I, I kind of feel like this person's still full of drama. I kind of feel like this is also somebody who has, like, the tendency of, like, pointing the finger at, like, other people when shit goes south in their life. Um, yeah, I just kind of feel like because this person's so focused on you and your growth and your expansion, what you got going on within your own personal life, it's drifting them further and further away from the shit that they should be focusing on, from the shit that they should be doing. 
okay? Um, but that's because this person's so focused on you. Again, I don't feel like this is somebody that you're currently in contact with. Okay, I don't. This is somebody who hates you from afar. And I hate that word, but this is somebody who hates you from afar. This is somebody who's holding a lot of anger and a lot of resentment towards you. And I kind of feel like that has a lot to do with, you know, how things initially ended here between you and them. They're still holding on to a lot of anger and resentment towards you. But like I said, as this person's dwelling on this ending that transpired here between you and them, as this person's holding on to this anger and this resentment, um, you're moving past that. You're choosing not to focus on all those things. And you're choosing to just continue to move forward and move on with your life and focus on the things that you need to focus on, like your growth and your expansion and evolving and going after the things that you essentially want out of this life. Unlike this person, unfortunately. How does this person currently feel? We have the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. And now we also have the Chariot. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Come on. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. I also kind of feel like this person might even tell people close to them that they don't care about you anymore and that they're over you. Uh, this person might even be in a relationship already with another person. Um, and they might even tell that person that they're over you, that they don't really care about you, that they're so done with you, that they moved on with their life and they're bred off without you. Okay, fine. I guess maybe, maybe that's true. I don't know because I know that, like, I don't know. This is the way I think, right? Like, I feel like when a relationship comes to an end, right, per my personal opinion, when a relationship comes to an end, you just do what Gemini's doing. You just get up and you move on with your life. You don't sit there and you dwell on it. You know what I mean? You just get up and you move on with your life. It is what it is, right? They're not doing that. You know what I mean? Like, they're not doing that. This is somebody who checks up on you from time to time. When, you, when you're over somebody, you're not going to sit there and check up on that person from time to time. You're just not going to do that because you don't have room or even time to sit there and dwell on something that doesn't even belong to you anymore. You see what I'm saying? And that's, I don't know, that's just the way that I think. I, I mean, I understand a lot of people don't think that way, but I kind of feel like this person... I, I kind of feel like this person is going around telling people that they don't care about you. They're better off without you. This person might even be with somebody else, to be honest. I am kind of getting that. This person might even find themselves in a relationship with somebody else. And they could even be telling that person, like, oh, no, like, I'm over Gemini. I don't want anything to do with Gemini, blah, 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 blah. But yet and still, I don't know, it's kind of contradicting because I feel like this person kind of checks on you from time to time. Because how is it that this person knows that you're, you're growing and evolving and that you're stepping into a lot of success, you're very focused on you if they're not checking up on you from time to time? Unless they're psychic, you know, then, okay, I can see why, you know, they say that, you know, I can see why, but I don't know. I don't feel like this person's over you, I don't, my personal opinion, but hey, leave it up to them, you know. To say otherwise we have the ten of swords we also have the king of wands and then we also have the seven of pentacles with the two of wands to the three of swords i kind of feel like you know after this relationship came to an end here between you and this person gemini you kind of chose to kind of put love on the back burner and i kind of feel like this relationship kind of Put a lot of things into perspective for you that you don't really want to dedicate and or devote yourself to a relationship right now you rather kind of dedicate and devote yourself to yourself and your overall growth and your expansion here but it put a lot of things into perspective that's one thing that i will say especially for you gemini it kind of forced you to not want to really prioritize another person um right now it kind of forced you to want to prioritize yourself a little bit more and like i said and like I always say, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. What actions? We have the Five of Pentacles. We also have the Fool. And then we also have the Strength card. Let me look at the Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person is still preaching. Um, I keep wanting to say that keep, they keep preaching to somebody that they're over you. 
they keep preaching to somebody that they're over you but between you and I I don't I'm sorry I don't feel like that's the case I feel like this person for one needs to just let go of whatever the hell happened here between you and them like yes this person's looking at you, yeah, you like you hurt them pretty badly they're still holding on to a boatload of anger and resentment towards you and on top of that to make matters worse they're still very much so focused on you like to the point where <clears throat> I feel like a lot has changed oh my god here we go <clears throat> I feel like a lot has changed within your own personal life since it's ending. I can't quite say the same for this person. I kind of feel like this person is exactly where they're at when you left them or when they left you, however it kind of played out, right? Um, and I kind of feel like that has a lot to do with the simple fact that they're still walking around with this boatload of anger and resentment towards you and they're very, very focused on you to the point where it's distracting them from the things that they should be focusing on, like themselves, okay? Um... But I keep wanting to say that they keep preaching to somebody. And I feel like it's somebody that they're currently either dating or in a committed relationship with that, like, they're over you. They're serious. They'll never go back to you, Gemini. I'm not that convinced. I feel like this person needs to just be a little bit honest with themselves, man. Be a little bit honest with themselves when it comes down to the the reality of the situation the reality of the situation is that they're still holding on to this anger and this resentment or whatever it is that i guess you put them through um they just need to kind of accept that and let it go and move on with their life because i feel like they spent so much time preaching to another person like i'm over them i swear i'm over gemini i will never go back to them no tea no shade <sighs> do i want to go there do I want to go there? Do I want to go there? These two are not even compatible. Let's start there. These two are not compatible by any means. Like, they're not even showing up as a true pair. They're not even compatible. These two don't even click. You know what I mean? Like, just they just don't make sense together, okay? So let's throw that out there. And on top of that, they're dealing with a queen of swords. You're an empress. And I always say this in every reading that the empress shows up in. You cannot get better than an empress. You just can't. The empress is the total package. You cannot get better than an empress unless you go and find another empress. But the thing is, is that finding an empress, just like finding an emperor, is going to be very freaking hard to find. Very hard to find. Whoever it is that they currently find themselves connecting with, this could be somebody who's even aware of you, Gemini. Because I keep wanting to say they keep preaching to somebody that they're over you, that they've moved on with their life. But the truth of the matter is, is that this person that they currently find themselves connecting with is very insecure within themselves, especially because we just can't even, we can't compare you to them. It's like this person doesn't even stand a chance against you. And the thing is, is that they knew that. They knew that. What actions would you want to take towards this person or moving forward? We have the Eight of Swords. We also have the Three of Cups. And then we also have the Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. Gemini. This is kind of like a little bit of a heads up warning for you, okay? This path that you're currently on, like I said, it's bringing in a lot of happiness and a lot of success and a lot of abundance and a lot of wish fulfillment, okay? I kind of see something coming along that's going to kind of distract you from what it is that you should be focusing on, which is your growth, your expansion, your happiness, your joy, the life that you've always wanted to create for yourself. Something's coming along here that's kind of distracting you from that, and I want to see what that is. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so it, it appears that it's a relationship that's showing up here for you. For a lot of you, you currently find yourself single, right? And I don't even feel like you're in that energy of even wanting to mingle. But listen, continue to focus on what it is that you currently find yourself focusing on, which is your growth, your expansion, your success. Don't lose sight of that for absolutely not a damn soul out here, okay? Okay. I do see a relationship showing up here for you, and it's going to show up here for you out of the blue, okay? This relationship with this person has the fucking potential. And one thing that I absolutely love about this relationship between you and this person is because they're already showing up as a true pair to you, unlike this couple over here. That it's just, 
I don't even want to. I don't even want to talk about it. No, I'm not gonna go there. Let's focus on you, Gemini. This person that's showing up here for you, they're already a true pair to you. In other words, when you meet this person, man, you're going to instantly click with this person, unlike this couple over here. Like this couple, I would be honest, when I see the, the, like a pair like this together, this is like a relationship that might probably last like a few more months. Maybe, 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 maybe. But this relationship, it, it could last a very, very long time here between you and this person. Very, very long time. The person that sits in the chariot is basically the emperor, okay? Um, this person's already showing up as a true pair to you. They're already showing up as a true pair to you. Things are going to grow and evolve pretty quickly here between you and this person, okay? Keep that in mind as you continue to kind of move forward. Do not lose sight of the life that you want for yourself and your success and your growth and your expansion don't don't lose sight of it and like i said when this person enters your life you're going to automatically feel like all right this is my person it might create a little bit of a distraction for you try not to allow that to happen gemini of course that's when you have to really master the art of balance between work and whatever it is that you're striving for in your relationship with this person okay so just keep that in mind because that is a little bit of a heads up warning that there is somebody entering your life they are already a true pair to you which is telling me that you're going to instantly hit it off with this person it might slightly distract you from the things that you need to be focusing on but if it's one thing that I will say is try to find that state of balance between whatever it is that you're striving for and your relationship with this person because this is a connection that's going to be in your life for a very, very long time. Of course, like I always say, it all depends on the both of you at the end of the day, but yeah, two different situations, man, going on here. It's crazy. Any advice? I don't even feel like this is advice for you. I kind of feel like this person needs to, whoever this person is, is ex of yours. They need to stop preaching to whoever it is that they currently find themselves involved with, that they're over you and that they've already moved on with their life because they obviously find themselves with a whole nother person. The truth of the matter is, is that they're still clinging on to a shitload of resentment that they have towards you. They're still angry and upset. Um, and again, I kind of feel like this queen of swords that they currently find themselves connecting with they kind of sense that this person is probably not like over you, officially over you. And I would say that they are kind of for the most part spot on. But I keep wanting to say they keep preaching to the person like, no, I'm over Gemini. I don't want to be with Gemini anymore. I moved on with that. You're like, But I feel like the truth of the matter is they really need to let go. Like they need to stop holding on to whatever it is that you put them through uh, and just let go let it let it go because i'm gonna be honest i don't see you wanting to even get back together with this person so if this queen is worried that you still pose a major threat to this relationship that these two beautiful people share with one another i don't feel like you do and that has a lot to do with the simple fact that you don't want them you don't want them like your overall energy has been there done that you know what i mean don't want that again like and I feel like you don't really pose a threat to this relationship whatsoever. I kind of feel like these two pose a threat to one another. That's one thing that I will say. I don't really have that much confidence, though, in this relationship that these two share with one another. I don't. I just don't have that much confidence. I don't. These two, these two just, they, they don't. They don't mesh well together. They don't. I'm pretty sure these two have the tendency of bumping heads quite a bit. They just, they just don't make sense together. They don't make sense together. It's not a good pair. But you and this person, psh, perfect pair, dude. You're you're stumbling across gold just like your person's going to find themselves stumbling across gold when it comes down to you. But that's what I have for you, Gemini. Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram username is Milagros Tarot. No numbers, no underscores, just Milagros Tarot. Um, it's also linked in the description box down below for those of you who do want to follow me on there. But that's what I have for you, Gemini. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.